Over half of Wyoming is classified as public land, making it the ideal destination for those who wish to explore the magnificent natural splendor of the American West. Wyoming is the least populous state in the United States, and its greatest places to visit are loaded with breathtaking scenery from hot geysers of Yellowstone to the jagged mountain peaks of Grand Teton. The mountainous state is also justifiably pleased with its Wild West legacy, cowboy culture is alive and strong in Wyoming, as seen by the presence of bronco-busting rodeos, chuck wagon dinners, and country music dance halls. Hello everyone, and welcome to another video. Today we'll be looking at best places to visit in Wyoming. Yeah, you heard it right. Fossil Butte National Monument Millions of years ago, three large lakes covered much of what is today the southwest corner of Wyoming's high desert. The tiniest body of water known today as Fossil Lake contains fossilized fish, animals, and vegetation. Fossil Butte National Monument is located around 15 miles west of Kemmerer and has a butte that rises a thousand feet above an ancient lake bed. The butte is covered with fossils and tourists can help paleontologists in the summer to excavate for prehistoric remains. The visitor center of the monument shows more than 300 fossils discovered in the region. Hot Springs State Park Hot Springs State Park's most notable feature is the largest hot springs in North America. Many spa resorts and water parks are supplied with blazing hot water from the Great Spring, which is located near the appropriately called City of Thermopolis. The state bathhouse, which is operated by the state, is open to the public. 20 minutes of free use of an indoor or outdoor pool is available to guests. The Star Plunge Water Park is a favorite amongst families due to its open and enclosed water slides, indoor and outdoor pools, and bubbling hot tubs. The park also contains a herd of approximately 25 bison. Cheyenne Cheyenne, located in the southeastern region of Wyoming, is the state capital and largest city. Established in 1867, Cheyenne's primary attractions are its numerous historic structures and museums. The Renaissance rival-style capitol building was constructed in 1887 and boasts a gold-leaf dome that is visible from practically anywhere in the city. The building's stained glass interior, grand staircase, and checkerboard marble flooring make it a must-see. The Nelson Museum of the West exhibits Native American art and United States military artifacts. Each July, Cheyenne hosts the largest outdoor rodeo in the United States, the Cheyenne Frontier Days. This 1897 festival features several rodeo competitions, free pancake breakfasts, evening concerts, and parades. Bighorn Canyon Bighorn Canyon National Recreation Area owes its existence to the 1960s construction of Yellowtail Dam on the Bighorn River in Montana. The reservoir of the dam, which extends 71 miles upstream into Wyoming, is located primarily inside the Crow Indian Reservation. Bighorn Lake is a picturesque location for boating and water sports because it is surrounded by steep canyon walls. The Wyoming portion of the park is close to the Pryor Mountain National Wild Horse Range, giving visitors the opportunity to observe herds of wild horses galloping along the canyon's rim. Devil's Tower the Devil's Tower is the exposed core of an ancient volcano that rises 1,267 feet above the surrounding landscape. It is located in Crook County, northeastern Wyoming, in the Black Hills, and President Theodore Roosevelt designated it a national monument in 1906. In the 1977 Academy Award-winning science fiction film Close Encounters of the Third Kind, directed by Steven Spielberg, the mountain was chosen as the setting of the alien-human rendezvous. It is currently one of the most visited locations in Wyoming. Flaming Gorge Recreation Area The Flaming Gorge Reservoir, created by a dam constructed in the Green River in 1958, is the principal attraction of this national recreation area straddling the state lines of Utah and Wyoming. The manufactured lake, with its five full-service marinas, is the ideal vacation destination for water activities, boating, and fishing. With more than 160 kilometers of trails, Horseback riding, mountain biking, and hiking are among the popular pastimes. Fleming Gorge is most beautiful at sunrise or sunset, when the canyon shines with magnificent colors and takes on its namesake's name from the rock's fiery hues. Cody Cody is an excellent spot to learn about Wyoming's cowboy history. The city was founded in 1887 by the famed Buffalo Bill Cody and is situated near Yellowstone. The Buffalo Bill Center in the heart of Cody contains five Western-themed museums with entertaining displays, including relics chronicling the colorful life of William F. Cody. The Old Trail Town, which has over 25 restored Western structures, is also a must-see. 
Cody, known as the rodeo capital of the world, hosts rodeos nearly every summer evening. Jackson Hole On the Wyoming-Idaho border, the posh Jackson Hole Resort area developed as an outpost for trappers drawn to the region's abundance of fur-bearing animals, Jackson Hole, a river valley at the base of the Teton Mountains, welcomes people throughout the year. In the summer, rafting on Snake River is a popular activity, and in the winter, the region's more than 500 inches of snow makes it a popular skiing destination. The only incorporated town in the valley is Jackson. However, resorts, houses, and communities are dispersed across the valley. Jackson's dining options range from campfire barbecues to wild fish, buffalo burgers, and elk chops. Grand Teton National Park Grand Teton National Park, established in 1929, is renowned for its breathtaking mountain panoramas, glistening alpine lakes, and plentiful wildlife. The steep spine of the Teton Mountains extends from Yellowstone National Park to the city of Jackson and towers over a mile above the Snake River Valley. Many species call the park home, including moose, bison, and elk, which are surrounded by glistening lakes at the foot of the mountains, with more than 250 miles of hiking trails and hundreds of campgrounds. Motels and lodges, visitors have a variety of activities and lodging options to choose from. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so that you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section down below. Stay tuned, and we'll catch you in the next video.